I'm not foreseeing a vaccine against heart attacks. This would be possible when we are convinced that these heart attacks are related to the involvement of a viral disease, like Dr. Epstein suggests. If really the infection burden can be reduced by a vaccination against viral uh, organs and organisms, then we are on the right way to test this hypothesis. But when we on the other side are not convinced that they play an important role, we have to do other directions and we have to go in another way. Uh, my strong feeling is that we should develop drugs uh, based on our knowledge of the inflammation which is ongoing in the vulnerable plaque. So inhibition of MMP uh, would be one uh, possibility. Uh, others uh, like uh, antibodies against uh, tumor necrosis factor alpha or against interleukin 1 and 6 are ideas uh, which are taken into account and where we have to go and possibly can really lower the risk. That is frustrating at the moment. We as a physician have not really tools to lower elevation of CRP or elevation of fibrinogen. The current drugs are only mild to moderately modulating the levels which we find in our tests. We need stronger drugs to be able to lower the inflammatory response which we detect. It would of course be very interesting when we can do an immune modulation. An immune modulation to change the cytokine uh, production or the cytokine uh, elevation which we find in the interstitium, in the tissue or even in blood uh, samples. This vaccination would be very helpful in order to reduce the risk of individuals where we can detect vulnerable plaques.